Hi guys, Joel from Renovate here. Today's video is about boarding and skimming. So you're gonna see us totally board as kitchen from beginning to end. It's totally hacked off back to the brick. You're gonna see us dot and dab it all and then skim it all. It's gonna be an interesting video. Also, if you wanna see more of our videos of the rendering and the plastering that we do, please subscribe to the channel and give us a follow. And also, if you want to see some more work on a day-to-day -day basis, go to our Instagram account, which is render underscore vate underscore. All our work's on there. Give us a follow. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoy. Basically, we've boarded the ceiling. Um, the ceiling went down to board, but uh, when I come and looked at it, the other day to double check for materials, I looked at it and I thought it looks a bit shoddy that so I chucked a few more boards onto a board in that for him. Uh, he's got that for now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna dot and dab these walls now. Um, Sam's PVA all these up already, so these are all out of coat PVA. PVA just stops the dust from coming up. So if you board this onto a wall, right, that dust on it, um, it won't be long before they're delaminated. So the PVA basically. Uh, people use water as well, but remember water dries and it turns to dust as well. So when you use PVA, yeah, it just seals the bricks, seals the dust, stops it in, yeah. So done that, PVA everywhere, hot water's been PVA, fall in the ceiling, staggered the joists. The battery's gone. You're joking. No, no, it's still on, is it? I'm just gonna put that in, you know. <laughs> so yeah, fall in the ceiling, staggered the joists, gone out right. <laughs> Board underneath the staircase here, so all that's ready. So basically, we've done all the stud work that you can do. We've done all the stud work now, it's just time for cut boards and stick them. Um, Sam took all the sockets off, so we'll cut little pockets in board, we'll pop them through. Didn't much play on them, so they're gonna be fun. But um, we'll do that. I don't know what was here, but there's an all. So we're gonna break this back up for him. Got some bricks, stick them in. Um, over here, the massive vent there covered up where we're opening it back up. So we're gonna brick it up again and we're gonna overboard over all these pipes and everything. Reason why we put uh, I open that back up is because you should have a vent in your kitchen definitely. You should always have a vent in your kitchen and your bathroom minimum um, and ideally you should have them in every room anyway. Uh, I know it might be a bit cold but you need them to keep ventilation going in the room. So yeah that's what we're doing in here. Balling absolutely a lot. We need some of that fun in here we'll get to boarding today and then we'll skim it tomorrow. Everything's done and dabbed. Come round mate, spin it round. All reveals are done. Nice and square. Solid. You hear that? Loads of dots on that. Got nowhere. Cut round sockets nice and neat. I'm getting on that. I'll have to look at that. You know what I mean? Didn't leave us a lot of play, but you know, we get the job done. Um, I'm happy to come out Box it off. So tomorrow, Sam's going to beat it all up in the morning, uh, finish the taping off, cut some more reveals back, and uh, we'll get in and we'll mix it. We'll do this in two mixes tomorrow. It'll be a nice day. Anyhow, bye. End of the first day on the kitchen refurb, and we've gone through 27 plaster boards, um, we've gone through seven bags of drywall adhesive, roller scrim tape. And yeah, she's totally boarded out. So all the walls are dot and dab nice and square. Ceiling's totally boarded, ready to go. Um, yeah, nice first day really. Yeah, uh, say we got started a bit late because the, the delivery come uh, at half eight when it meant to be here at half seven. So we had an hour knocked off, but we're still out at dark, bang on half four. So yeah, I'll take that, that's nice. I look forward to getting back tomorrow and getting it smashed. So 
totally taped it up, totally beaded it up. Uh, come have a look at these. We've even beaded around the cupboard here. You're gonna have to put some timbers on to build it out, but it just makes it look a lot nicer and cleaner. So yeah, all beaded up, all taped up, all new boards, ready to go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put a little time lapse on now and uh, record us putting it on. Gonna try to set, ceiling on, two opposites, got them flat, sand mixed up again, while I'm flattening off, we put the rest of the walls on, second coat it all, so yeah, you've seen the time lapse, so yeah, we'll get to see it, but yeah, all done, dusted, nice curve, one here, nice curve I've put in there for them, beaded up around the doors, because they change the doors, they're going to change them, take the casings out. It. Come around here, look at these details. Look around the door there. So, yeah, two days it took us to do this from boarding it all to skimming it all. Customer Joshy's literally ripped it all out, um, he ripped it all back to bricks, it was nice and easy for us. And we've come in, overboard the ceiling, done that, done the walls. I skimmed it all, two coats of plaster, finished it up, nice sharp reels and beats. Just ready for him to have his kitchen point now. So yeah, that's what we do.